Well, with the fluctuating stock market, many people wondering how to manage their money. President and CEO of Wilsey Asset Management, Brent Wilsey, joins us now to help break this all down for us. How you doing, Brent? Very good. Thank you. I told you when, when I saw you this morning, I'm looking at this, I'm going, this is, this is Greek. <laughs> <laughs> this is Greek to me. But if I don't know it, maybe a lot of other people don't know it, like you said. Right, right. So what are we talking about this morning? Well, and, and they don't know it. And the thing is, right now, you know, stock market's down. People worry they, the Nasdaq's down, what, 27%. Oh, I'm, I'm just going to go to cash. I want to go to CDs or T-bills or whatever, because that way there, at least I can make money. That is the big biggest mistake you can make if you're looking at long-term investing, using a short-term investment for long-term needs. So, mm. but I want to go over these because there are times that you need a short-term investment and there's different ones you can use. And the first one I'll talk about is a brokered CD. Now you go to the bank, you know that banks have CDs. What people don't know is that many times when banks are trying to get money, they'll broker out CDs at higher rates to try to pull in more money to the bank. But you got to be careful with these because again, they can be what we call callable to where like, okay, yeah, I'll get a CD, great, I like in a four and a half percent rate that's great and so forth but there's a call provision rates go down they can call that CD away from you okay and that would not work to your advantage not work to your advantage because then you got to find more money then you got to try to find a higher rate in a lower rate environment so you want to be careful of those also too with broker CDs they can be market uh, rate adjustments on those and what that means is that if you buy that four and a half percent CD you're very happy you got it you did a two-year time frame with that CD and then rates go up and you say, oh, I need my money back. There's not a penalty, but there's a market adjustment because it works like a bond to where now you'll get less than you put in because rates went up, bonds go down, broker CDs go down. So you want to be careful with these CDs because you may be getting something good on them. They sound great, and there's also can be a fee for buying and selling them. But So what exactly is a CD? Oh, certificate of deposit. Okay. And, and banks issue these. When they need money, they'll issue a CD, a certificate of deposit, to bring money in because they need money to loan out money. Uh -huh. And generally, they'll do it in the branches. You go to the bank, they'll do it that way. But because when they need more money, they, they, they need more money coming to the bank to loan out more, they'll offer higher rates through broker CDs. And also, too, these CDs sometimes go longer term. They can go up to 20 years if you want them to, mm. which I do not recommend. But again, be careful that about tying up long-term money and short-term investments, not a good thing to do. Got it. Okay, next thing, money markets. Yeah, money markets have changed a lot. Back in 2009, when rates went down so low, uh, money market firms and so forth, they they stopped charging fees. It was just a, a way to get money in there. They weren't charging any fees. You'd get like 0.1% and so, so forth. So let me take a step back here again. Sure. What exactly is a money market? Money market is short-term instruments that they'll pull together in like a fund uh, of, of different, like, uh, 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 different notes they have there and so forth that are short to maturities of usually 30 to 90 days. But what it does for the consumer, what it does is that it gives you liquidity. So if you want to put in, you know, $50,000, you need it in two months, well, I'll get some interest you put in there. In that two months, you'll get the full principal back plus the interest. Okay. Short-term instruments is what these are. And what you want to be careful with these is that, okay, well, they, they, they were waiving the fees on these. Well, now rates are up. They've started adding the fees. And there's about $4.5 trillion in money markets now. And now that they're adding back the fees, you might say, well, gee, now I'm getting a 2.9%, but if they add back in a half percent fee, which about 25% are now doing, you're not going to get that 2.9%. You'll go 2.5%. The thing that I want people to be aware of is maybe you find one that's not charging fees, great. I find one that's not. Next month, they start charging fees. So make sure once you put that money in that money market, you watch it closely because you may be thinking you're getting that 2.9 or 3%. You're not because they started adding the fees back into that. So watch them closely. Right. Okay. That makes sense. Short term money market is a good short term investment. Yeah. Short term investment. Okay. And, and also, I do want to point out make sure it's a true money market. There's ones out there like Money Market Plus and so forth. They're not money markets. You could have risk of your principal if you don't get a true money market. Okay. And lastly, T bills. What is a T bill? T bill is a Treasury uh, bill, Treasury mm -hmm. Securities. Now, there's three different types you have from the Treasury, T-bill, Treasury bill. You also have a Treasury note. Those go from one year to 10 year. And then a bond, a Treasury bond, is more than 10 years. So T-bills are what people use for short term. They're a great instrument. They're very safe. They're liquid. Um, you can buy one for four weeks, uh, six months, uh, up to one year. Mm -hmm. um, the problem with them is that you won't collect interest. They trade it what we call a discount. So if you're going to do $10,000, you don't invest $10,000 you invest maybe 9600 and it will grow to that $10,000 for you. So no interest to be collected. The great thing about T-bills is that they're very safe. And also, too, people may not realize is that they're state tax-free. So you'll pay federal tax, 
but no state tax in the state of California. Okay. You got any seminars coming up? Uh, we do. Guys, I'm glad you asked me. I you want to talk about all this? Uh, well, we do talk about short-term stuff. Okay. We talk about a lot of different things yeah, at, at yeah. these workshops. Uh, it is on Thursday at uh, 6 o'clock in Scripps Ranch, and they can sign up at our website, smartinvesting2000.com. Again, smartinvesting2000.com. And we try to educate people on all this stuff mm -hmm. to really help people understand what to do with their money. And what really worries me is when people do the, and again, right now they're worried, oh, I'm just going to put it into a CD and I'll be safe. They lose so much money down the road two, three, four years because they panicked and invested in the wrong vehicle. You know, and I can remember a couple years ago, you sitting here saying, stay away from Bitcoin. <laughs> stay away from Bitcoin. And you were right. Yeah, it's, <laughs> and there's more uh, more to come on that storm, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. okay. Brent Wilson, great to see you, Brent. You do. Thanks a lot. Thank you.